Hey, this is Veronica Wasik with the 5MinuteBookkeeping.com blog where we show you how to minimize bookkeeping and maximize profits. Can you automate all of your bookkeeping? I know that you're a very busy business owner and you would love to be able to automate all of your bookkeeping. Unfortunately, that's not the case right now um, as, as far as the technology that we have available. Well, a lot of people are talking about automating your bookkeeping. What they're really talking about is eliminating double data entry. So if you think about in the past where you might have um, your accounting software, for example, QuickBooks Online, and then you had um, an invoicing software uh, separate from your accounting software, you would have to enter all of the invoices in your invoicing software and then turn around and enter, enter the same invoices into QuickBooks. Well, nowadays, the automation that happens is that you can connect that invoicing software to your QuickBooks and then integrate um, those invoices and import them into QuickBooks. So that's where that um, automation happens. Um, unfortunately, uh, what happens though in, in the automation is that you need to be able to um, integrate the two software um, packages correctly. Um, what I see a lot from working with a lot of business owners and their app integrations is that they just automatically connect an app to QuickBooks Online and all of a sudden all of this data is just dumping over into QuickBooks and it's not necessarily going into the right account. And so uh, first, the, well the reason why you connected QuickBooks to an app was to save time and to automate but now you find yourself with this giant mess because that automation either wasn't a very good automation or the mapping of um, the, the transactions between the app and QuickBooks wasn't done correctly. So beware of um, just these, these automagical automations out there because you might be trading one problem for another. Another uh, misconception when it comes to QuickBooks Online um, as far as you know, automation that's available is the bank feeds. So these are the transactions that download from your bank and credit card account into QuickBooks. Yes, they will save a lot of data entry time, but by no means is that an automated process. It requires you to, to review the, uh, the vendor or customer names that are being added to transactions. It requires you to uh, review the account categorizations that QuickBooks is assigning to transactions. So um, the mistake that I see a lot of business owners make is that they'll go into their bank feeds and they'll just click add, 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 add to every transaction without reviewing it. And then what happens is that what you'll see in the reports is uncategorized income, uncategorized expenses, duplicated transactions, and again, a big mess that really shouldn't be there if um, the business owner uh, would have had training in how to use QuickBooks online bank feeds. So I hope that this helps you to understand that while there is some level of automation uh, with your QuickBooks and with using apps, what we're really talking about is eliminating double data entry. And that you have to be very careful then if you're integrating QuickBooks online with an app that there's a proper mapping between um, the two so that you don't end up with this giant mess of transactions into your QuickBooks. And also as you work with your bank feeds to understand that it does require still time and attention to uh, make sure that transactions are being properly categorized before you add them into QuickBooks. I'm Veronica Wasik. If this content is helpful, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment, and uh, visit my blog at 5minutebookkeeping.com.